Let me just do a quick, quick video on these trombone squash. That one is two feet long, 26 inches maybe. Uh, got one down there that's, most of these, uh, it's got some powdery mildew and uh, they've pretty much died off. I've got one I'm trying to start, but it, it didn't live. So we'll just let that and go. Another good, um, shoot here that's trying to do something, but I think I'm gonna let it die a natural death. This one here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. That one there is a foot to there, another eight inches or so. All these are ripe. Pull that one off. That's the biggest one. These are by no means <laughs> the biggest I've ever grown. Let me first tell you about a, a trombone squash. Um, it's uh, an heirloom. It's in the, obviously, in the squash family. It's a winter squash. Doesn't mean you grow it in the winter. A winter squash basically means it's a, it's a, a squash that will store, uh, store well into the winter. That's why they call them winter squashes. Uh, put these in air conditioning and they'll probably last till December, January. Who knows? I don't know. But they, you can eat the whole thing. Uh, you can start slicing it right here. Just uh, slice it like you would a squash and eat it. Uh, fry it, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, probably plenty of recipes online about a tromboncini or a trombone squash. Uh, then there's no seeds in it up in here. No seeds. You get down to here, that's where you find your seeds. And since it's an heirloom, um, if you didn't plant anything but this, you would have some seeds to save. Now, I planted several different things. I've got some uh, some uh, uh, spaghetti squash and stuff. So these would have probably cross-pollinated. These would not be good se seeds to plant or to keep for uh, next year. But I just wanted to show you these. Now, let me show you the one I grew a few years ago. That is a monster. That was about 30 inches long. It was um, grown on my grow arches and just a massive, massive squash. Uh, these are supposed to get three feet long, I, or you know, thereabouts, two to three feet long and probably longer. I don't know what the world record is or anything like that, but these can get very, very large. And uh, that one was a big, big squash. I had several big squash that year. I had a bunch of them over two feet, if I remember right. But anyway, like I say, that one's two feet long easily, <clears throat> and that one is close. And uh, these will go in the house and we'll store, and we can use them or store them and, and eat them fresh in the, um, in the winter time, uh, you know, fall and winter. And, uh, but, this, the, I want to mainly show you that picture of the one I grew way back when. It was a monster, <laughs> monster squash. I've been so proud of that picture. I've never, I've never deleted it. <laughs> and uh, again, the, go back and watch that video. It's a, it's a video that shows uh, lots and lots of these trombone squashes being grown. And you may want to grow some next year. Maybe a little, a little late this year. Not sure. It depends on where you live. But uh, I don't know how it. I don't know how it would do for a fall crop. I know it's a fall keeper. It keeps into the fall and winter. But I don't know how it would do for a fall crop. I guess it'd do all right. I got, like I say, I've got some shoots and some branches coming out and, and trying to trying to keep the plant alive. Uh, I think I'm going to put uh, cucumbers here, so that this will probably all go away. And again, it was diseased. It had some. Some powdery mildew, uh, both sides did. I need to come out and pick, uh, well, there's two, three more little trombones down there. I need to pick some of these uh, uh, spaghetti squash. But anyway, I just want to show you that mainly and, uh, and brag on my big squash that I did years ago. That was a monster. I'm still proud of that. That's been a long time ago. All right, it is hot, about 95, 247% humidity. And I don't see how any of this stuff is, li is, is alive right now, but it is. Everything's, I tell you what, I gotta show you my earth boxes. I gotta, it's gonna get too windy for me to talk, but mainly we just want to show you squash. And, uh, and some of you never even seen a trombone squash, never heard of that variety probably. So I wanted to show that to you. 
All right, I think we've done enough talking about trombones and trombone squash. We're gone.